kinds of houses and settlements one of the most basic requirements of man is a home a shelter man lives in a house together with his family to be in a protected environment safe from any kind of danger families living in ancestral homes some families stay in one place for years at times several generations of one family stay in one place and most of the time in the same house families living in official homes people working in the armed forces that is army navy air force are transferred every 2 or 3 years the children have to change schools this gives them an opportunity to experience living in newer places and meeting new people as well additionally it also gives them a chance to adapt quickly to their changing environments families living in rental homes people who are unable to buy their own house live in rented houses they pay a monthly rent to their landlord they are unable to make any major changes in the house they live families of nomads some families are always on the move they move from town to town city to city and are called nomads these are tribal communities known as banjaras in india and gypsies the world over they don't cultivate land they have some unique skills like knife throwing and other acrobatic skills they trap snakes and mongoose and use these to entertain people in india banjaras travel from place to place in bullock carts or horse carts families in distress at times families have to move away from their place of residence because they are displaced displacement of a large number of families happens for the following reasons natural disasters like floods droughts earthquakes and tsunamis setting up of national parks and sanctuaries tribals living in these forests get displaced construction of roads airports and flyovers construction of dams floods and droughts generally affect the farmers in the villages they either lose their land or it becomes infertile 
they then come to the cities in search of jobs in the same way tsunami and cyclones affect the lives of the fishermen in coastal areas these farmers and fishermen who are forced to migrate to the cities face great difficulties in adjusting with the city life construction of roads highways flyovers and airports displace a large number of families we do need wider roads highways flyovers etc for better commuting but it becomes quite a nuisance for the people who get displaced the government is supposed to provide alternate accommodation as well as give adequate compensation construction of dams submerges large areas of land which includes thousands of villages and forests the alternate accommodation provided by the government may be too far away from where they were living and earning their livelihood at times the compensation may not be enough for the family to sustain themselves very often we read reports that the amount promised by the government does not reach the paps that is project affected people it gets lost somewhere in between families in redevelopment schemes another reason for a large number of people moving from their homes is the slum redevelopment schemes in big cities that is metros like mumbai delhi and kolkata a large number of families live in slums most of the times these constructions are illegal they simply encroach on government lands the municipalities decide to demolish such settlements a decision is taken to build nice clean colonies with low cost houses for these slum dwellers but in the meantime they have to move out they don't know where to go they are very uncertain as they don't know when the scheme will be completed and if they will be allotted homes in the colony displacement for the nomads or banjaras moving from one place to another is a way of life they are used to it they like it but for others to leave their homes and be forced to live in a different place is not easy at all animals move from one place to another in search of food and shelter but man prefers to settle in one place from the time early man started the practice of agriculture he has loved a settled way of life instead of roaming from one place to another